Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. In today's tutorial, we're diving into face swap in painting using the Flux Pull ID Consistent Character Workflow, which allows you to face swap a reference image into any image of your choice. This is a complete step-by-step -step guide on using Flux Pull ID face swap in Comfy UI locally to achieve characters' consistent faces across multiple images, perfect for anyone working with character-based AI art who needs reliable facial consistency. Before we begin, it's essential to mention that there's one crucial step you need to complete first. Before using this workflow, you need to install Flux Full ID nodes properly. Don't worry if you haven't done this yet. We've already created a tutorial on how to install Flux Pulid locally, which I'll be linking in the description below. If you followed along with that tutorial and have successfully installed Flux Pulid nodes, then you're ready to open our workflow to start using Flux Pool ID face swap. We've made this workflow available for download on Civit AI. To get it, visit civit.ai and search for AI Motion Studio, where you'll find the newly released Flux Pulid Face Swap in Painting Consistent Character Workflow. Download it to use Flux Pull ID Face Swap on Comfy UI. Now, let's explore some Pull ID Face Swap generations. In this workflow, we start by uploading the image we want to apply the face swap to, and then upload the reference image for the face. Next, right-click and select Open in Mask Editor to begin masking the image. We'll focus on masking only the facial area for the face swap. Here's the result of the face swap generation for this example. As you can see, the swapped face closely resembles the reference image. All right, let's try another image. We'll upload a new image and select a different reference image. We'll then right-click on the image and choose Open in Mask Editor to mask only the facial area where the face swap will be applied. Once the masking is complete, I'll click Q prompt and wait for to generate the result. As you can see, there's a noticeable resemblance. Depending on the quality of the input image, you may achieve even better results. All right, let's try another example. We'll upload both the input image and the reference image, then open the mask editor to apply the mask specifically for the face swap, and click Q prompt. As you can see, sometimes the results can look a bit weird. If this happens, don't worry, just reduce the denoise level and try again. Now, I'll set the denoise to 0.65 and hit Q prompt to see the updated result. And there, a much improved result. If you encounter weird results or the generated face seems disproportionate to the body, simply lowering the denoise setting should resolve the issue. To enhance resemblance to the reference image, you can increase the denoise level. A higher denoise setting will make the generated image look more like the reference. Note that the maximum denoise value is one. Let's try another image. First, we'll upload our input image and then the reference image. Next, we'll open the mask editor apply the mask, increase the denoise to 0.85, and then click Q prompt and wait for the result. As you can see, there's an issue with this result as well. To fix it, we'll reduce the denoise level. 
I'll set it to 0.75 and click Q prompt again and wait for the result. Great! As you can see, the image is now corrected and the face swap has been applied seamlessly. For this next example, I'll upload the input and reference images, then mask only the face, excluding the hair. I'll set the denoise to 0.85 and click Q prompt to generate the result. As you can see, this worked well with a high denoise setting because the hair wasn't included in the mask. Here's a tip. For a stronger facial resemblance, increase the denoise and avoid masking the hair. For this final example, I'll use an image of actress Zendaya as the reference. Let's see how the result turns out. Well, it looks like the high denoise setting caused an issue with the result. Let's lower the denoise slightly and try again to improve the outcome. And there you have it, perfectly done. As you can see, this face swap in painting method works effectively. Give it a try yourself and let me know in the comments below if you're happy with the results. If you encounter any issues with the workflow or if any nodes are not working, go to the Comfy UI Manager, click Install Missing Custom Nodes, and then Update All before restarting Comfy UI. This should resolve any node problems. Also, don't forget to first install the PULID node correctly. A link to the installation tutorial is provided in the description below. And there you have it, our complete tutorial of the Flux Pull ID face swap in painting. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.